It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. Hi everyone. Welcome to Yoga Day. Every Friday I will be incorporating yoga poses that are related to the stories we've read. So grab your mat or find an area that has carpet so you can sit comfortably. At this moment, close your eyes, find stillness within you, and focus on the sound of your breath. Gently dropping in and clearing up any thoughts you may have. Take a few moments before moving on to our first pose, which is called the river pose. Slowly move your seat bones towards the edge of the mat and extend your legs straight out. But if you're sitting on the carpet, simply stretch out your legs where you're currently sitting. Imagine your body creating the letter L. The spine is straight, palms are resting next to your thighs, and shoulders are relaxed and away from the ears. Legs are engaged and feet are flexed, meaning that your toes are pointing towards your body. We are going to work our way into our river pose by slowly bringing our arms up over our heads on an inhale and as we exhale, we are slowly folding at the hips so we don't hurt our backs and gently placing our hands on either our knees, shins or tops of our feet. It doesn't matter where they are placed as long as we are breathing and being mindful of our movements and making sure we are listening to our bodies and we stretch the muscles in the back of our legs. Hold the pose for a few breaths. Allow your chest to melt into the river pose. Feel your lungs expand and collapse with each passing breath. If you'd like, you can come back up on the inhale and exhale, reach a little further, maybe touching your toes. But remember to continue listening to your body and the sound of your breath. Inhale back up and slowly come to lie flat on your back. Next, we'll be moving into our bridge pose. Begin by placing your feet flat on the ground, hip distance apart while keeping your knees bent. To check if your feet are close enough, you can place your hands next to your hips and try touching your heels with your middle fingers. Before we lift our hips into this pose, we want to make sure we remember to press our weight into our heels and keep our back straight and not curved. On an inhale, lift your hips, pressing into your heels, and breathe. You can hold this for a few seconds, keeping your hands flat on the ground next to your hips, or you can slowly shimmy your shoulder blades closer to one another as you interlace your fingers to hold your hands. Keep breathing deeply. When you're ready, you can drop your hips and then bring your knees to your chest and rock side to side to massage your spine. Our final pose will be the boat pose. This one requires a little bit of balance and core strength, but I will provide modified versions so you can pick which variation works best for you. Come to a seated position with your knees bent and feet flat on the ground. Using your hands to support you, begin to lean back with your spine straight and shoulders roll down and away from your ears. Keep your chest open and tighten your tummy as you slowly bring your feet up off the ground, keeping your feet flexed. Your shins should be parallel to the ground while you practice lifting your hands and bringing them up next to your calves. Remember to keep your back nice and straight. If it begins to curve, that's okay. Just squeeze your shoulder blades together and open up your chest. For an extra challenge, see if you can straighten your legs up towards the sky with your toes pointed, creating the letter V with your body. When you're ready to come out, simply bring your feet down and come to lie flat on the ground. Take this time to notice how your body is feeling and come back to the sound of your breath. Take as much time as you need before coming up to a seated position with your legs crossed. Bring your palms together, keeping your thumb pointing towards your heart, and take this time to thank your body for doing what it does every day. Always remember to have fun with your yoga poses. Be sure to join us next week to read our book called A Boy Like You. Namaste.